Normally on videos, I answer questions. Today, I don't have a question. What I have is a call for change. Uh, call it a manifesto to the overworked. I uh, was sitting there in my office one day, and one of my favorite team members came in, and he said, uh, John, I can't do it anymore. I just, I can't be an accountant. This is too much. You see, I had saved this team member. Let's call him Kent. I saved Kent from the accounting industry. Uh, he was working at a previous firm where he did such a good job that as team members left that firm, they gave Kent that leaving team members workload and they just expected Kent to get it done. Well, that happened not once, not twice, but three times to him. So by the time he left that firm, Kent was doing the workload of three people making the same pay as when they originally hired him working way more hours. Now accounting tax season, a lot of firms work extra hours during tax season. Not only was he working way more than that, he was also working all those hours all year. Because again, he's doing the workload of three different people. So he joined our firm where Kent averaged with us as a firm 42 hours a week during tax season. Uh, unfortunately, he had already been burnt out so much that even working 40 hours a week during tax season was just too much stress for him. The industry had destroyed him. And this broke my heart because Kent did really good work. He was really enjoyable to be around, perfect fit for our culture, really great with clients, polite, but firm with his understanding. He, just, he did a really good job. So the industry lost a valuable resource. Why? Because they pushed him to the limits and we weren't enough to resuscitate him. In the accounting industry, 68% of accountants leave the industry in their first five years. This isn't like they switched jobs they, to a different firm. They switched professions. And keep in mind, most accountants had at a minimum four-year degree, but a good percentage of them spent the extra years of college to get a master's degree so they could get their CPA. So they spent more time getting an education than they spent in the actual industry. Why? Because the work model that firms are putting on accountants is despicable, deplorable, unconscionable. And so I didn't want to have a firm like that. So I wanted to find ways to improve that. Um, and as I started sharing this message with others, they're like, look, that's not an accounting problem. That's a U.S. problem. That's a shareholder focused only on returns problem, which don't get me wrong. I'm all about profit, but there's a balance. Um, so I heard stories from lawyers, account accountants, obviously engineers, computer programmers, uh, you name it. There's a problem. People are overworked. Um, in the world, in the U.S. today, CEOs average in, uh, 55 hours a week and uh, employees average 47 hours a week, where f more than 40% of them are actually hitting about 50 hours. So I wanted a solution and frankly, it was selfish. I didn't want to put myself in a position where I got burnt out. And I also wanted a firm where my team members get burnt out. Yeah, I want to bless their lives, and that gives me a lot of satisfaction. But from a selfish standpoint, replacing a team member is a lot of work. You get someone trained and they're doing a job that you want them to do, man, I'd rather keep them in that position than them getting burnt out and leaving and having to find a replacement and then go through all that headache of retraining again. Um, replacing employees uh, is very expensive. If they're a salary team member, it's like six to nine months of that person's salary and cost is what studies show. So I wanted to avoid that. It, it made my business more profitable. It saved me time and it blessed the lives of the team member. So the solution I came up with is the 3.3 rule. This rule is simply stated, you work up to three hours at a time, followed by a 30% recovery period. Work up to three hours at a time, followed by a 30% recovery period. There is science, of course, uh, 
and we will share that in coming videos. So if you know anyone that's been overworked or burnt out, share with them this video. My simple rule of the 3.3 is simple enough that anyone can implement it right away. It helps avoid burnout. And again, we're going to go into a lot of details over the course of time uh, because this is a lifelong long mission for me. Um, if you want more information on the 3.3 rule, please uh, download our PDF. It's a four pager. We go over the science, some of the things related to it. Uh, we want to help the world avoid burnout, and this is our attempt to call the world to change. As always, if you found value in this message, please like, comment, subscribe, share with others. Um, I want to know your thoughts on this. Uh, I've definitely been spending the last few years really ingrained in getting this message out to the world, and uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on is it even possible to overcome burnout? Can enough people make a change where corporations will change the work structure to give us the ability to not have to work unconscionable overtime hours? Um, let's see how the world handles this message.